All right, today I'm here to talk about money, and uh, here's a quote that says, we can tell our values by looking at our checkbook stuff. And I think that rings true because, uh, as you all know, obviously money makes the world go around. So I think uh, by looking at uh, our checkbook stuff, I think that uh, shows a lot about uh, what type of person, uh, what type of people we are. Uh, for example, you know, um, there's people that if you look at, say, for example, you look at uh, how much money you spend, you'd realize, you know, whether you'd be spending too much materialistically or either like for charity, you know, it shows what type of person that is. And uh, uh, like, for example, Warren Buffett, you know, he's obviously a billionaire. Um, but, you know, he's uh, known for uh, preaching to, uh, preaching for, uh, uh, um, well, he's obviously, uh, like, he's preaching out there to, you know, raise taxes and all that, so, you know, he's obviously a, a different type of person than, you know, the, you, uh, uh, the average, you know, stereotypical billionaire who's, like, all about his money and mansions and all that. And also, I think, other values that show, not only does it show, like, uh, what type of person you are, like, what you do with your money, it also shows how much your net worth is, obviously, you know, so that's killing two birds with one stone, I think. Um, And also, like, when I think looking at your checkbook stuff once in a while, it's sobering because, you know, you figure out, like, what you're spending your money on. And it gives you a lot to think about whether, you know, you think you spend too much materialistically, like, uh, uh, um, um, so yeah, I think the values, by looking at your checkbook stuff, just shows a lot. Well, I like the forcefulness with which you start the speech, but I do think that you need to have something that you're using to get our attention rather than just your personality. Uh, the point that you're making is pretty clearly stated, I, uh, that you agree with the quote, and so that's understandable. There's not really a setup of what the content is going to be, and I think if you give yourself a structure, you're going to have an easier time uh, following through. All that hesitation and when you have to kind of step back for a second to think of the next thing, uh, that occurs because you don't have things planned as well as you might. Uh, you have the one illustration about Warren Buffett. You had a little bit of trouble getting to that. Once you got there, you were done with it pretty quickly, and I think you need to be able to talk about those things in more detail. Uh, there's, not, Like I said, there's not really much of a plan after that. The presentation issues, look, your voice is fine, you're projecting pretty well, there's pretty good inflection, but there are the dead spots that occur because you're thinking about the next thing, things are not coming together as smoothly as they might. On the visual issues, you've got your hands clasped together with the topic in it, uh, so it really limits you for the most part on your gestures. Your facial expressions, you tend to look down. Uh, when you do look up, it's uh, for brief seconds when you were talking about an idea, and your face, I think, could be a little bit more animated. That was the problem that I had for the most part with the visual parts of the speech is that your eye contact with the audience, every time you're starting to think about something, it's almost as if you step back, drop your head, look away from the audience, and it's almost like you're stepping out of the speaking situation, and then you, you know, step back in, you know, stepping forward and looking up for a few seconds and talking to us, but it happens too often and it's too noticeable. Uh, it, 
when it happens occasionally, it's not that big a deal, but you do it very regularly, so it's a habit that I think you want to try and break yourself of. At the end, I think you had the right idea coming back to the topic, but then you put that tagline at the end that just says, hey, it's the end. And uh, I don't, you know, I've asked you guys to be careful about doing that, so I think I dinged you a point or so on that. All right.